Hello everyone, it's Richard Taylor here. And Daniel Falkner from Weta Workshop. In chilly old Wellington, and we're revealing number four in our Masters Collection to you today. This is the big one, our biggest ever Masters Collection statue from Middle Earth, uh, and the first one from The Hobbit. If we were at Comic Con, it would be sitting in the central Perspex box. It would have its black cover over it. I would be up on the step ladder. All of you guys would be gathered around with your cameras out. All in all, it would be a great moment. So we've just got to imagine that and... Ta-da! So, we know some of you guys who are collectors will have an elf on your shelf already, but you don't have a king <laughs> on this thing. Two people have guessed what we were doing next, and here it is, Thandral on this incredible throne, yep. designed by, the throne was designed by John Howe, mm -hmm. uh, costumed by the three foot seven costume department, and it was absolutely exquisite. And our very own Daniel Falconer designed the crown, so that's a lovely touch there. Is this our biggest collectible to date? Certainly the biggest one, six scale Middle Earth piece. Um, even Treebeard, who previously held that uh, crown, has been dethroned, see what I did there, <laughs> all right. um, by uh, Lee on a tree. Oh, you, you've gone and written all these down, haven't you? Last <laughs> night, I'm I bet you, were, you were practicing them on the kids. Yes, so, yes, yeah, the dad okay. jokes, they always come Your out. Your wife yeah. was like... <laughs> oh, you know it so well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, don't overdo it, don't overdo it. <laughs> so let's celebrate in the sculptors here, because uh, obviously there's some incredible and very beautiful sculpting here. Uh, Steve Saunders has done the Thrandral, and of course, the complete throne, the base along with the model makers, Leonard and his team have worked on it with him, but primarily this is a Steve Saunders special and what an incredible piece of work. Mm. Uh, Steve was assisted by York Yu who helped him with the Mirkwood Palace Guard. Um, it is our hope, this is still a prototype, but it is our hope that when this gets into the hands of collectors next year that the Palace Guard will be able to be positioned in a few different places on the base and that potentially you have the option of lifting Thrandall out so you can see all the beautiful detail inside the throne as well. Yeah, and uh, as insisted by our dear friend John Howe, We've actually made it so that if Thrandral lifts out and you just want the throne, uh, there is an extra piece of antler that can be placed in that uh, fills the gap and completes the whole piece. So that's exciting too. It's always neat working with John because uh, even where, relevant where he is anywhere in the world, he will always give feedback and uh, critical assessment and help our sculptors on pieces that he's been involved in and this is no lesser a situation. So Steve and the team have enjoyed interacting with him. Beautiful paint job by Jules German and his team, uh, as always. Yeah, finished uh, all of three minutes ago. Jules was still painting the legs as me and Dan was standing here. Well, that's it, folks. Here's Thrandall. You'll get a better look at him later on this year. This is just a little bit of a tease for now, but he'll go up for pre-order later on this year, and we'll obviously show lots more photographs and video at that point. You can really punch in and get a look at the details. I hope you enjoyed this piece. Uh, I can't wait to see who collects it. Uh, boy, oh boy, you must have a larger coffee table than me. Uh, but uh, it is an extraordinary piece of art that we're very, very proud to have created for you. So uh, all the best and uh, cheers from me and Dan and all our team here at the Weta Workshop.